Hello, we're here to provide you with some information about the COVID-19 vaccination program. We're hoping to provide you with some reliable information that can help you make up your own mind about COVID-19 vaccination. And this information is from Queensland Health and it's the most up-to-date information from the 20th of July, 2021. I'm Dr. Margaret Kay and I'm a GP and I'm also a senior lecturer with the University of Queensland. So this set of videos is actually about vaccine side effects. Now all vaccines have side effects, including the COVID-19 vaccination. There are many common side effects. About 50% of people will get side effects, but they're mild and they go away after one or two days. Some people get a little bit feverish, a bit of a headache, maybe some aches and pains in their muscles or joints feeling unwell generally, particularly a little bit of nausea in the stomach, as if you're going to feel a little bit sick, tiredness, and of course a sore arm happens in some people and even some redness and swelling of the arm. These types of side effects are very common and they're nothing to worry about. They're common with most vaccines and therefore they also happen with the COVID-19 vaccine as we start to respond to develop our immune response. Now there is a more serious side effect that's very, very rare and the AstraZeneca vaccine can cause blood clots. So yes, while it can cause blood clots, it's important to understand that it's very rare. And Atagi have actually said that only people over 60 should actually get the AstraZeneca vaccine if there's very little COVID-19 within our community. It's important to understand that at the moment, the government has more AstraZeneca vaccine available. And when there is a high risk of getting COVID-19, it's important to talk to your doctor about whether you should be vaccinated with the AstraZeneca, even if you're under 60. Blood clots caused by AstraZeneca vaccine are a very special type of blood clot, an immune blood clot. It's called thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome or TTS. And you will hear people talk about that and it's important to know about it, but it's very important to put it into the context of how common blood clots are. It's much more common in the community to get a different type of blood clot, which is not TTS. Only about four or six in every million people who get the AstraZeneca vaccine will get the immune blood clot and it can be treated. These immune blood clots don't happen straight away. They don't happen as you walk out of the door when you've first been vaccinated. They happen somewhere about four days later or even up to six weeks later, 42 days later. So it's important to understand that it's not something that's likely to happen initially. And you need to remember that you did have your AstraZeneca vaccine perhaps a couple of weeks before. If you get this very rare type of blood clot, it's important that you let the emergency services know and go to the hospital. If you have a severe or even a really persistent headache that doesn't go away when you take some Panadol, some funny blurred vision, difficulty with speaking, extreme drowsiness for no good reason, even take a fit or feel shortness of breath or difficulty with breathing so that and associated with chest pain, a big swollen leg, persistent stomach ache that's really severe, or you start to notice lots of little tiny blood clots forming under your skin that's nowhere near where you had your vaccine. When you notice these sorts of symptoms, they could be serious and it's very important that you access help immediately and you can call triple O and you can get the ambulance to the hospital. If you're not sure, still talk to your health professional about whether or not it is a significant set of symptoms and then they can guide you as to what to do next. Understanding the risk of blood clots is important. It's very, very rare with the AstraZeneca vaccine to get these blood clots, four to six in a million. So it's a very low percentage. When you consider that many people, many women take the birth control pill, the oral contraceptive pill, that's got a much higher risk of blood clots. And we often don't talk about that. When we actually see people smoking, they have a much higher risk of blood clots. We often don't talk about that. So it's very important to understand that the risk of blood clotting with COVID-19 infection is extremely high. About 16 or even higher percent of people get very serious blood clots when they're infected with COVID-19. So the risk of a blood clot with the vaccine is much, much less than the risk of the disease itself. So is the AstraZeneca vaccine safe, even if you've had a blood clot before? The answer is yes. If you've had blood clots before, you must talk to your doctor in case you've had an unusual immune type blood clot.
But most people have had a blood clot because they've had surgery or because they've been a smoker or because of some other reason. And it's not the same sort of blood clot as AstraZeneca causes. So therefore, it's very safe for most people who have blood clots, even if they're on blood thinning medicine, to have the AstraZeneca vaccine. If you're under 60 and you've already had your first dose of AstraZeneca, it's very important you complete your vaccination schedule. The maximum protection is after two doses. And normally those two doses are around about 12 weeks apart. So if you're under 60 and you've already had your first dose, the main risk with blood clotting is seen after the first dose. It's much less common after the second dose. And it's very important you do not miss your second dose. So if you're concerned, discuss it with your doctor first, but make sure you attend your visit for your second dose. Now, COVID-19 vaccine side effects are not uncommon. And if you find that you're concerned, you can always talk to your doctor about them. If you want to find out more information, there is a national coronavirus helpline. And that helpline can be available to you if you have questions anytime, day or night. And interpreters are available if you want to ask a question and you would like to use an interpreter. There's also information on the website. So COVID-19 vaccine side effects symptom checker is actually available for you to use so that you can check your side effects. There are no long-term side effects from having the COVID-19 vaccine. So it's very important to understand that if you've got some unusual symptoms, maybe it's something else, not the fact that you just got vaccinated and talk to your health professional.